Another method in determining the end moments of each span of the beam is the slope deflection method. In this method, the moment at the end of each span is expressed in terms of fixed end moments due to external loads. Then, the second is due to the rotation of the tangent at the end of each elastic curve. And third, the rotation of the cord joining the ends of the elastic curve. So, here in this problem, we will solve the end moments of each span of the beam using slope deflection method. So, for the first step in using this analysis, we will determine the fixed end moments of each end of the span using tables. The tables of the formula of the fixed end moment of the beam will be found from any strength of materials book and theory of structures book. Okay, in the analysis of the beam using slope deflection method, first we will determine the fixed end moment at each end of the span. So here we have two spans and we have here segment AB or span AB and we have span BC. So our first solution is to determine the fixed end moment at each end of the span. Okay, for the fixed end moment of AB, that is a concentrated load. And from the formulas in the table, we have for the fixed end moment, we have negative P A B squared divided by L squared. So A here is equal to 4 and B is equal to 2. So this will be equal to negative 4,500 times 4 times 2 squared. And the span length is equal to 6 meters. So, okay, so we have here 4,500 times 4 times 2 squared divided by 6 squared. This is equal to 2,000. That is negative, negative 2,000 newton meter. For the fixed end moment of B to A, that is equal to positive P B A squared over L squared, and that is equal to positive 4500. Our B is 2, our A is 4 squared divided by our span is 6. Okay, you have to square. So you have positive for 4,500 times 2 times 4 squared divided by 6 squared. And that is equal to positive 4,000 newton meter. For the span BC, and that is the uniformly distributed load for the fixed end moment for the span BC. The formula is equal to negative W L squared divided by 12. And that is equal to the load is 6,000. So we have negative 6,000. Our span is 4. So we have 4 squared divided by 12. So we have negative 6,000 times 4 squared okay, divided by 12. So that is equal to negative 8,000 newton meter okay for the span cb for the span c to b is equal to that is positive wl squared divided by 12 and is it is equal to positive 6000 times 4 squared divided by 12 so we have positive 8000 newton meter so here 
our assumption is all the the moment that is in clockwise direction that is positive and the moment for the counterclockwise direction is negative so we all know that the analysis of this equation or of this method depends on the sign convention that we are going to use okay so here for the beam stiffness okay we will use the relative k since ei is constant so we have here the k which is equal to i over l okay so for kab that is the beam stiffness of kab that is equal to i over l the span is equal to 6 so that is i over 6 then for the k b c that is equal to i over 4 because the span is 4 so we have i over 4 okay to be convenient in our solution anyway at the end of the solution when we will take our end moments all the value of k will be cancelled so to make our solutions easier for us to solve or to be convenient to our part we will take i as the common multiple of the span so that we will deal all whole number in this solution so we are not dealing any more variable because we don't have the value of i here so we will just assume that the value of i is the common multiple of the span so we have here the span of six and four so the common multiple here we will take i as 12 because the common multiple here for six and four is 12 so we will assume that i is equal to okay we will let i is equal to 12 so we have now 12 divided by 6 and that is equal to 2 and we have here 12 over 4 is equal to 3 this is only to be convenient in our solution anyway as what i've said we will cancel out the value of k when we get our end moment so although we have different value of k but still we will arrive the same moment end moments of our beam we have we will have the same end moments we will have the same answers at the end of the solution okay so next will be the joint condition so we have here okay, we will have joint condition okay so looking back to our beam we have there a fixed end support so there's no rotation for the fixed end so there's no rotation so we don't have the the theta or the angle of rotation so our angle there for support a is equal to zero and also for the c our support c that is also fixed end we don't have a rotation also at c so there's no angle of rotation at c so our theta at c is also equal to zero so we have to write it here our for the uh, for the support a we have for the 
fixed end rotation at A, that is equal to 0. And also for the fixed end rotation at C, support C is also equal to 0. So here also in our beam, we don't have any displacement. So, our delta is also equal to 0. So, in that case, our psi, which is equal to delta over L, is it is equal to 0. So, we have here psi, which is equal to delta over L, that is equal to 0. Also, for our C, that is delta over L, that is equal to 0. The psi here, this is the the angle of the cord or the angle of the rotation of the cord joining the ends of the elastic curve. So, that is equal to delta L. So, you have there the value of 0. But looking back for our joint B, for our B, if we have to isolate the joint at B so we have here okay we have this moment B A and we have here moment moment B C so this the equation will be moment at uh, moment B A plus moment B C that is equal to zero. Okay, so after having our joint equation, we will substitute now or we will solve the end moments by using this slope deflection method so for the slope deflection method we will express all the internal end moment in terms of fixed end moment a near end and far end joint rotation so this is our formula okay, for the slope deflection method okay you have our slope deflection equation Okay, we have MN is equal to fixed end moment MN okay, plus K times 2 theta N plus theta F minus 3 okay, side for our moment of span AB that is equal to the fixed end moment fixed end moment AB plus KAB times 2 theta A plus theta B minus 3 psi so, for the fixed end moment of span AB, that is negative 2,000. So, we have negative 2,000 plus our beam stiffness for span AB, that is 2 times our theta A, that is equal to 0. So, that is 0 plus we have the value for our angle of our tangent of the elastic curve that is theta b we have the value of our theta b minus 3 psi that is our psi is equal to 0 because there is no displacement ok so we have here negative 2000 plus 2 theta b so this is your moment a b and we will make this our equation 1. 
Next is the moment of B to A. So we have fixed end moment of B to A and that is plus K A B K times two times theta theta A plus two theta B minus three psi. Okay, for the fixed end moment of span B A that is positive four thousand. So we have positive four thousand plus our dim stiffness we have two okay so we have zero for our slope for support a plus two theta b minus zero okay so you have positive four thousand plus four theta b so this is our equation 2 and this is for the moment of B to A. For the moment BC, okay, that is equal to fixed end moment BC plus K BC times theta B plus K times 2 theta B plus theta C minus 3 psi. Okay, we have here for the fixed end moment of span BC, we have negative 8,000. For the beam stiffness, we have 3. So here we have negative 8,000 plus 3. K okay, times 2 theta B plus 0 since our theta c is equal to 0 minus 0 since our psi that is the rotation of the cord of the the cord joining the end of the elastic curve so that is equal to 0 so we have negative 8000 plus 6 theta b this will be our moment BC and this is our equation, equation 3. For the moment C to B, that is equal to fixed end moment CB plus KBC K times theta B plus 2 theta c minus 3 psi fixed end moment of b to c we have positive 8000 positive 8000 plus this, the beam stiffness we have 3 okay we have theta b we don't have the theta c is equal to 0 then our psi is also equal to 0 Okay. So, what we have, positive 8,000 plus 3 theta B. This is moment CB and this will be our equation 4. Next, we will substitute the values or the equation of our moments from joint condition. So, from joint condition, we have moment B to A, B A plus moment bc that is equal to zero so from joint condition okay, from joint condition okay so we have from we have moment ba plus moment bc equal to zero Okay, so Okay, so we have here moment BA we have 
positive 4,000 plus 4 theta B. So, positive 4,000 plus 4 theta B. Okay, 4 theta B. We will enclose this by parenthesis. Plus moment BC that is negative 8,000 plus 6 theta B that is equal to 0. Next, we have to simplify this using our what we have learned from algebra we will add like terms so constant we will add the constant and we also add the like terms so we only have one by vari one variable here which is theta b so it is easier for us to determine the value of theta b so we have positive four thousand minus eight thousand you have negative four thousand okay plus four plus 6 that is 10 theta b then we will transpose that is equal to 0 then we will transpose the constant negative 4000 to the right so we have here now theta b that is equal to 4000 divided by 10 so theta b is equal to 400 next is to substitute the values from the values of theta b from equation 1 to equation 4 to get the end moment so for the moment a b that is equal to positive a uh, negative four thousand negative two thousand plus two theta b so we have negative two thousand plus two theta b our theta b is equal to 400 positive 400 so we have here negative 2000 the okay, negative 2000 plus 2 times 400 okay that is equal to 1200 newton meter this is moment of a b for moment b a okay that is equal to okay, b a positive 4000 plus 4 theta b so positive 4000 plus 4 theta b okay so we have four th positive 4000 our value for theta b that is 400 so we have positive 4000 plus 4 times 400 that is equal to positive 5600 newton meter for moment bc that is equal to negative 8,000 plus 6 theta B. So, negative 8,000 plus 6 theta B. So, we have negative 8,000 plus 6 times 400. So, we have negative 8,000 plus 6 times 400. So, that is equal to negative 5,600 Newton meter. So, if you observe we have if you add moment b a and moment b c that is equal to zero so it will satisfy our joint condition which is moment of b a plus moment of b c that is equal to zero so okay so for the moment of our c b moment c b that is equal to okay, moment CB positive 8000 plus 3 theta B positive 8000 plus 3 theta B so we have positive 8000 plus 3 times 400 so our moment of C to B that is 8000 plus 3 times 400 so that is equal to 9200 newton meter okay so this is our answer that the moment okay that the fixed end moment at a support a we have here since our support at a is fixed and our support at c also fixed so we have our moments so we have negative 1200 for moment 
AB and for moment BA we have positive 600 and moment BC that is negative 5600 and moment CB that is 9200 so again you have to box or in circle your final answers then okay this are our end moments of our beam and this is our answers for this problem since our problem is to determine the end moments of our each span of the beam then after this one you can evaluate the reactions and the shear force of our support A and support C then we can draw the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram and also we can draw the elastic curve so that will be for another problem so I hope in this video in this problem you understand how we are going to analyze the beam using slope deflection method Thank you for your time and thank you for watching this video. Okay, thank you and God bless.